And you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. Good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said... Oh. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? You called, right? Or, uh, was it Beauty? Why would I call you? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? You don't want to talk. Can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I have already been right back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Hmm. Talk about living in the past. Like or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. We didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money. And answers. That's why I called. Oh. Thanks for letting us finish our conversation. Sorry. It's been a long night. Yeah. You know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do. We so... should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. Look, I'm not here to referee. You called me, okay? So cut the bullshit and quit wasting my time. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. Then just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of... lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Uh, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing hey, the slopes? we're not done here. <laughs> I should... We can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> <laughs> Humanly possible. Beep! That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. The crooked man's gonna get his, ah, one way this. or another. Shit.
All I care about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but... I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the Woodsman's Axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night, trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the Crooked Man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. Y you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the Crooked Man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. He never seems to be heading to the same place, but it always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that, and it's the only thing I've been able to pick up, and it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She, uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. I don't need to understand. It's not my fucking job to understand. My job is to keep Fable Town safe. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. I want to know what the Crooked Man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is gonna spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well. Maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. 
Oh, thank you, Bigby. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Right. Not very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? Wolf? <clears throat> well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? <clears throat> um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak, on special. New York strip. Oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow, if you like. Uh, sirloin, ribs... I know Bloody Mary hangs around here. I want to talk to her. I... Uh, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> <clears throat> what you see is what you get. Just meat. You don't find anything else. We just, uh... We do more wholesale and meat packing than walk-up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's uh, nothing here. You better stop fucking around, Butcher. I'm, I'm not. I am not fucking around. I can tell just by looking at it that your meat ain't selling. If you're lying to me, I'm gonna find out. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. N don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Shit. I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. What's the problem? I'm just coming back to give you a hand. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Come on, damn it. I'm just doing my job, Johan. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. To kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Huh? How you doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't wanna die. Please, please don't kill me. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> You, you, you're a monster, a fucking monster. Why are you doing this? I'm not part of their crew. Fuck. The crooked man's people. 
Jersey Devil, Dean Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me, took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. But there... Shh. Is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. This business, it's all I've ever had. These lights, Johan. Did you warn them I was here? I had to. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? All right, Johan. Do me a favor. Just shut the fuck up and stay out of the way. Can you manage that? So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please? Didn't I tell you to sit down and shut up? Chains? Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Huh. Looks like... math or something. on here Do you know anything about this I, I I don't know a lot of fables out there need a lot of things don't you see what's going on here all these fables and magic from him business is booming he's got all he needs the raw materials and the slave labor to process them and with all this gear Looks like they could make just about any kind of magic. A lot of it. That's pretty clear why. Oh yeah? Why? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. Things that must have gone on here. When I get my hands on that crooked bastard, I'm gonna make him pay for all this. People just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. That fucker Crane knew all about it. Yeah, what about Crane? If this all... I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important, why don't you ask your boss? Snow. 
No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. And leave me alone. Yeah, with stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. He probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. The Lucky Pawn. They probably took Crane there, too. The Lucky Pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the Crooked Man. Hey! Hold on! I told you what I knew. And look what you did to me. You're just as fucked up as they are. You really still are the big bad wolf. Is this what you do? You just go around ruining Fable's lives, tormenting people? You should have just stayed home. I got a little hot. And, uh... Son of a... I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Do you really think this is going to be all right? Of all this stuff in here, I do know one thing. That's his icon. His symbol. What kind of a guy uses a torture device as his icon? <laughs> the kind of guy who isn't going to be understanding about Bigby Wolf showing himself in. So tell me this. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm going to have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my end. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. You're going to protect 